part of Virginia is brought to you by Boonesboro Village and Arriva. The Buffalo Soldiers are known throughout history as African American servicemen who fought in segregated infantry in times of war. For Raymond Shelton, a South Boston man who served as a medic with the Buffalo Soldiers in World War II, the recognition he has recently received has been a dream come true. At 99 years old, his love for his country is still just as lively as he is. Whitney Delridge reports on another hero from the heart of Virginia. Raymond Shelton, known locally as the Maestro, now spends much of his time right here at this piano doing what he loves. But he has an extraordinary past. At that time, you don't think anything about it, you know? But now we, now we get the recognition. Shelton was a medic in the 92nd Infantry, the only African-American Army division that fought in Europe during World War II. His duties kept him out of combat, but danger was always just a few steps away. When I was uh, drafted, I asked one of the uh, officers, what are these bags for? He said, that's to put your body in, in case you don't come back. And he'll never forget the painful task of carrying lost comrades from the battlefield and sending their belongings back home. Once in a while, you come across one that you had been with all the time, and it was very heartbreaking to see that. Originally from New York, Shelton moved to South Boston in the late 70s, and he's become a staple at local churches and nursing homes, sharing his gift of music with anyone who will listen. He came to our attention because he was a uh, member of the greatest generation, and we wanted to honor him for his service. South Boston Town Manager Ted Daniel and Town Council came together to honor Shelton in April. He received resolutions and certificates of merit from the town, Senator Mark Warner, and Governor Bob McDonald, just to name a few. I didn't want to get swelled in. I won't be able to get my cap on. But uh, I, was, I was elated. I just couldn't believe it. Now Shelton says he will continue to live his active lifestyle in the community, while those around him wonder where his youthful vitality comes from. Everybody waits till you're old before they tell you, you look so young. But he will always cherish the homage paid to him and his division. After all these years, I didn't think it would go, go this far. Makes you feel like you're on cloud nine. <laughs> oh, what a great guy. What a Whitney. story he has. Whitney Delbridge yeah. with that report. The 20 year cancer survivor says the keys to longevity are staying off the couch and finding humor in everything you can. I just hope that we can all, you know, yeah. just get with it when you're 99 years old. I love his line there. Everybody waits till you get older and then they can tell you you look so young. <laughs> Some restaurants are adding a little something extra to your table. How you can order drinks, appetizers, even play games without talking to the waiter. RM Gantt Construction.